Hello everybody, greetings and namaste. This is Michael Monk from Avatar Energy Mastery Institute. I'm going to do a brief demonstration here on telekinesis via what I call biomagnetism, which is basically I uh, run energy, I connect to my pineal gland, and I begin to vibrate, which begins to vibrate the water in me. And then I become aware of a subtle electromagnetic field pulsing through my body from my heart chakra or basically the pulse of my very heart moving through my water and enables me to expand and become aware, sensitive of our subtle electromagnetic field so I'm able to gently manipulate it in ways and cause movement in subtle uh, small things and objects. But the main point here is that my mind is literally attached to it through vibration and sensations. So this is the method that you expand past your body in the current vibrational signature that we're on is to run enough energy to where you can vibrate your water, which is what you mostly are. So if you've been looking for the crystal body, it's right inside of you. So I just do empathy with my third eye into my heart chakra so I feel each pulse and that generates more force than you would imagine when you allow it to vibrate the water in your body and then your sensory nerves are already set up via natural mechanisms for you to be able to sense these vibrations that are coming out of you and it connects you as one with your environment in a pattern like concentric circles, like ripples in a pond. Like waves of you come out and you feel everything. Um, oh, okay, just so you know, it's not static electricity in the word that it's already charged or something. See now because my third eye is open vibrationally, I can see what's happening between my two fingers is that my nerve fibers are vibrating the water, which is vibrating every molecule that goes through the straw, basically through uh, an empathy which can only really be achieved with consciousness. So I feel these waves going through and my sensory nerves are attached to them. And when the effect gets stronger, it's because I literally feel the vibrational pattern of the straw. This is a piece of rolled up tin foil. I did 
did the other experiment, so you would trust my integrity that I'm not breathing on this. I'm totally containing my breath. When you're in your heart chakra and you're vibrating your water, you really barely need to breathe. Now, if you're skeptical, you may say it's because I'm generating static electricity, and that's a truth, but it, it's only a partial truth. The static electricity is a byproduct of the vibration in my water, which causes the water and the air to vibrate a certain way, which causes static electricity. The whole lesson here is water. That's the density we're trying to master. Anybody that travels out of body knows that the air is the density of the spirit world. And that when you leave the body, you literally become a part of the collective consciousness that is the air. Uh, that's the vibration that creates electricity, obviously. Uh, we have the lightning. Um, the reason we keep incarnating is because we're trying to master the density of water, which is a greater density of energy. And water is fluid responsive, the concentric circle. We need to bring our minds into our bodies through doing the right meditations to vibrate our water to certain harmonics. Guys, it's nearly impossible for me to describe to you what I feel on a daily basis. Um, my third eye is always open, unable to incorporate the data because I understand it. But basically, there's only one sense, and that's vibration. And this is the density of water. So say that you're looking at a rose bush from 15 feet away. Well, if you're looking at it, there's a vibration that comes out of our eyes that when your third eye is open, it allows you to see a, a color to it, an aura, and you feel the pattern of your very nerve fiber that's vibrating in order to interpret also the light that's coming into it. So it's sort of like an overlap site. And when you connect to that, doing the key meditations and linear mental blocks that we set up, you do uh, the correct, just linear logic breaks is what I call them, where you help yourself see things in a completely different light. Um, if something is vibrating and you're in harmony with it, then you can feel it as an extension of yourself. So it's about expanding your energy field and becoming one with everything around you. And you literally feel it as a part of yourself. If I look right now at that corner, I feel my field. I feel it shaped against that corner. It's almost like the way a bat feels its environment, yet sees it. It's sending sonar, and with its inner eye, it can totally see slash feel its environment, vibration, the same thing. We're just interpreting one basic sense many different ways with our five senses. So that's all I have to say for now. It's been a pleasure. This is Michael Monk from the Avatar Energy Mastery Institute. Check me out at www.avatarenergymaster.com. Thank you and namaste.